Hi everyone, welcome back to my YouTube channel. Thanks for clicking on this video. Welcome to another week in my life in Dubai. Although it's not gonna be quite a full week because today is Tuesday and on Saturday, I'm going on holiday. I'm so excited. Me and Jen are going to Sri Lanka. Um, it is Eid break, so it's a public holiday in Dubai next week. So she's off work. I've told my clients that I'm off work. We have booked our flights on, we booked them quite last minute to be fair. We literally booked them on Saturday, so a week before. Um, but we are so excited. So anyway, this is just gonna be a little vlog really because it's just gonna be Tuesday to Saturday and I'll do Sri Lanka in a separate video. But anyway, thanks for joining me here on my YouTube channel. I always love seeing your comments and your messages. It's always great to hear from you guys. I feel like I left last week's vlog on a bit of a like, not on a low note, but I was feel like I was very low energy and a bit sad just about like, in fact I don't even want to get into it, just like personal um, personal things and just life's upside, ups and downs. But my mood today is that I'm feeling so grateful for like have it, being able to have a slow morning. Yesterday was a public holiday in the UK, it was Easter Monday. So like one of my clients was off, so didn't have any calls, I just took it slow. I did a little bit of work, but not really that much. And today I decided not to do my dance class that I normally do because I really just want to allow my body some time to rest. And I've just had a lazy slow morning. You know what I've actually been watching randomly because I've been <laughs> I've been meaning to put it on and see what it's like. Um the Taylor Swift Eras tour. So I've just been watching that, singing along, made my normal breakfast. I also had a nice cup of green tea and a sweet potato brownie, which I made last week. So I've literally been just like, yeah, today is just a day of rest and self-care, which includes nourishing my body with food that I love resting, having a lion, not really a lion, but I stayed until bed until like eight, which is kind of a lion for me. And I feel like it's just because my body needs time to rest. So yeah, so I'm just feeling grateful for that. And honestly, I saw a post on Instagram and it was saying that like, what it was like, what I used to think luxury was, mansions, private jets, like fancy clothes, whatever. And I'm like, honestly, it's so true when it said that what I think luxury is now is like slow mornings, being able to take a break in the afternoon, like deciding, like having agency over your schedule is the best thing. Um, it's honestly so good. So I'm just feeling really grateful today for working for myself and being able to like listen to my body. And if I don't wanna go, for example, on a Tuesday, my normal schedule is, go to dance class, which I already know isn't work. I know that's already like a fun thing. But after my dance class, it's right next to my co-working space, so I normally go there. But I've decided, you know what, I'd rather just work at home today. No, actually what I decided is that I'm gonna go out and get a coffee um, just so that I can like go out of the house, but I don't want to sit in traffic for half an hour and I don't want to go to dance class today. I don't know, just having like, like just being able to decide, honestly, is just, it's a really good feeling and I feel like I didn't ever appreciate it, but now I so appreciate it. Like, anyway, what's coming up this week? Well, like I said, today's Tuesday. My friend that lives in London is still in town. So tomorrow we're gonna do a beach day. No prizes for guessing which beach day we're doing on a Wednesday. It's my favorite one. Um, it's Drift Beach for anyone that doesn't know. It's their Wednesday deal where you can go for breakfast and you get free beach access. It is the best deal and I always recommend it to people. So when she was like, what should I do this week? I was like, well, I'd be up for doing Drift. Like, and she was like, oh my God, yeah. So looks like we're going for a beach day tomorrow, which I'm totally happy with. I've got to eat this tan topped up. Anyway, then on Thursday, we're going for a ladies night dinner at Canary Club, which is in JLT. So that'll be nice. So yeah, it's, it's, I think in this vlog, it's just gonna be a little bit of girl time um, and me kind of resting and probably just rambling. <laughs> but anyway, so now I'm gonna go grab a coffee from my favorite coffee place in Circle Mall here in JVC, which is Jamaica Blue. Um, I just think they do a banging cup of coffee, like that's all there is to it. And it's so funny because um, I've tagged them a few times on Instagram and now they follow me back and they're always like replying to me like, so glad to see you back again. And then they messaged me yesterday, not yesterday, uh, at the weekend when I went in and they were like, we've got a new vegan menu coming soon. And I was just like, I love that I've like got this personal relationship with a coffee shop. <laughs> like, 
I love that like they like all my posts, they comment on my pics and I'm just like, I kind of love that. Like I'm seriously a regular there because I'm in. Anyway, that's my favorite place to grab a coffee in Circle Mall. Yeah, didn't go to the gym today, um, even though I, I was considering doing a yoga class, but I literally like, I feel like when my body needs rest, it needs rest. Like I did push it a little bit on Saturday because I did a, um, a yoga class. Not that that was even like too, too different, but I just feel like it's a different kind of strength that you need to like pull yourself up. Anyway, I'm definitely rambling. Um, I've put on a little ASOS dress and this little urban outfit to shrug and my new hat, this is from ASOS as well. And I'm actually, oh yeah, this is what I was gonna do. I was, I was about to pull my daily affirmation. I don't quite do this every day, but I do it a lot of days. These are my affirmation cards. And I was like, you know what, let's film it. So let's pick one for the day. Right, what are we doing today? I am magnetic when I am my most authentic self. Yeah, authentic self. That is a good kind of point to meditate on, I think for me at the moment, because I do feel like I'm becoming closer and closer to being my most authentic self all the time. Um, I just feel like I'm, I've learned so much in the past six months. This could be a whole video in itself, by the way. I'm not gonna get onto this tangent right now. But when I tell you, I feel like I am a completely different person to like a year ago. It actually blows my mind, like genuinely. Um, but I'm starting to feel like everything is just so aligned in my life, like what I'm doing matches my mindset type thing. I don't know, anyway. You're like, Mabel, chill. We're literally like five minutes into the video and we don't need to get this deep right now. Anyway, let's go to the mall. Listening to Beyonce's album, having my favorite cappuccino. I'm here in Jamaica Blue in Circle Mall. Guys, something else that I completely forgot to talk to you about. Actually, I think I mentioned something. Do you remember a few weeks ago, I was like, I really want to build a capsule wardrobe for the summer. So just a little follow up on that is that I got a couple of pieces from ASOS and a couple of pieces from Namchi. Nothing crazy, just basics. But the, progr the progression in this updating my wardrobe story is that my sister came to visit and I was asking her about a few of the stuff that she brought with her and she said oh she had this little bag with her and she was like yeah it was only three pounds on Vinted and I was like whoa that is that is literally the price of this cappuccino <laughs> so that's crazy anyway Vinted isn't a thing here in the UAE unfortunately there's not a big secondhand clothes market really I've mentioned something called nothing to wear before but you can't get everything on there. You can only get kind of like dresses or like going out outfits. Anyway, long story short, I've literally become the biggest vintage obsessive ever. And I've just bought like six things on there and got them shipped to ED because next month I'll be in the UK so I can get them all then. But there is some bargains to be had. And then I also, I feel like my TikTok algorithm is listening to me because I got this TikTok that was saying how there's something crazy like Five million, I don't quite remember the number, something literally insane like 50 million items, fast fashion items on Vinted at the moment. And obviously shopping fast fashion is incredibly bad for the environment. And I'm just feeling so much confidence in secondhand shopping. Although I say this, I've not even seen any of them in person. So fingers crossed I like all the stuff. But I've got a little Zara dress, that was three pounds. I've got an Urban Outfitters dress, three pounds. I've got a Free People skirt for I think, 20 pounds, an anthropology skirt for 30 pounds. Like, I, I've gone, gone a bit mad on it. Um, so yeah, my summer outfits are about to be hashtag thrifted. Anyway, I should probably stop rambling and start doing a bit of my work. I really want to just power through because I need to kind of do a bit extra this week so that, because I'm taking a week off next week and I want to fully relax in Sri Lanka. So I need to find some Thanks this morning. I just want to show you my dinner for this evening. I've kind of done a Mexican bowl. I say a bowl. I'm serving it on a plate so it doesn't even look like a bowl. But we've got um, taco, spiced tofu, corn, black beans, sweet potato. There's quinoa under there. This is this really delicious um, like Mexican style sauce made with cashews. So it's creamy and sweet. It's really good. 
and then some roasted peppers there, pickled onions and jalapenos. I'm so excited to dig into this. Hey everyone, it's Wednesday now. I feel like I didn't really, I vlogged my dinner, didn't I? Um, and I had a nice quiet evening. I actually watched a musical, which I just, you know, that is honestly my form of self-care is watching a musical. You guys know I'm a big musical fan. I'm here for it, I'm here for all the cheese and I picked a really cheesy one, um, Rock of Ages. So cheesy, uh, but just indulged my guilty pleasure a little bit last night and enjoyed it, got an early night. Um, and it's now, what time is it now? It's 9.37 off to Drift Beach today, my favourite beach club. I'd say it's my favourite. Wait, is my lens a bit grubby? There we go, I think that's a bit better. Or maybe I've made it worse, I'm not sure. Um, but this is my favourite beach club in Dubai, so I'm so glad to be able to be going here on a Wednesday to make use of their Wednesday offer. And I'm meeting Jenny there, I just messaged her. Yeah, sorry I'm vlogging in the taxi once again. I feel like all I ever do is vlog in the taxis, but I didn't get a chance to as I was getting ready this morning. Um, well, I say that. I very much chose to have a lazy, slow morning and watch Molly May's ski vlog video, <laughs> but that's okay. Um, I actually did have breakfast as well, even though we're about to have breakfast, but honestly, I get hungry. I, I'm happy to have two breakfasts. I'm fine with it, and I'm, I want to make sure that I'm having the protein in my day so I'm just gonna keep I'm gonna have breakfast which I had at like 8 and then brunch at like 10 30 which I feel like is absolutely fine by me and then maybe we'll get a snack or something when we're there but I'm not gonna I'm gonna try not to have lunch there just because even though the french fries are amazing the vegan options in general aren't great I've, I think I've had a salad from there before which is nice but it's not super filling um, and it's a little bit pricey. So I probably won't, I've actually got a protein shake in my bag, um, even though you're not really meant to take food and drink in there, but I've just smuggled it. It's it's uh, it's just, you know, to get my protein in, in the day. Um, and then I've got a nice meal prep dinner that I've already done. Anyway, why am I rambling about food? What I really wanted to tell you guys, like I mentioned, I didn't get a chance this morning, is just to fill you in a little bit about what's been going on because I feel like I've been a bit annoying in that I've been like oh I'm not feeling great but then I've not told you why and I think that there's no point in being overly private because I do share like most of my life here on my YouTube channel but I think it's just been such a year or six months of growth for me and it's so it's, I just feel like honestly a different person and I think just getting used to feeling so different and getting used to really putting yourself first and and putting boundaries in for yourself and thinking about what you truly want in your life is so hard to go through and growth is so difficult and I think yeah it's the best thing you can do but it's also so hard so if anybody else is going through that then we are in it together because yeah just just know that the when you feel uncomfortable and when you feel like it's difficult and you're a bit just overwhelmed then that's probably because you're just growing so much and yeah I feel like that's me at the moment is that I've just put in so many changes in my life scaling back the business and putting myself first and just showing up differently and also when you're when you're kind of getting used to showing up differently in different spaces and circles in your life that's also uncomfortable and people are gonna find it difficult and it's just difficult there's no I feel like that's the point I'm trying to make is that it honestly is difficult but it's amazing but it's also really amazing and it can feel so freeing and yeah I feel like I'm kind of rambling I didn't really prepare what I was gonna say but I knew I wanted to say something because yeah just going through life is crazy and if anybody watching this is also feeling like they want to change their whole life or they've just changed their whole life and they're changing course on a new path or whatever it is then that's okay like it's hard it's hard and people are allowed to change and allowed to grow and in fact it's a good thing like of course we're not going to be the same as we were last year six months ago even yesterday we're always growing there's some quote that's like something about how change is the only constant i can't remember what the quote is but it's something like that and it's so true anyway some things don't change though 
Drift Beach on a Wednesday <laughs> has been my favourite beach deal for years so I'm hoping they never stop it. Anyway, that's my little update. Um, love and light today guys, love and light. <laughs> what happened to this? <laughs> I'm here with the lovely Jenny telling me all about her holiday and I'm having we're actually both got the same menu item but mine's the vegan version which is what I always get with these mushrooms on and we're just having a catch up and enjoying the view and I was just telling um telling Jenny what I was daydreaming about on the way here which is that I might bring out an album <laughs> I'm joking obviously, but I was still dreaming about being a pop star. So that's what we're talking about at the moment. <laughs> okay. Spot for the day. Look at this view. It's just stunning. It's actually so busy here today. Literally pretty much every bed is taken and we just have to fight for these ones. Thank you very much. Um, but yeah. Just as we were walking over to the beds, I was just saying to Jen, and she agreed with me, this is honestly the best spot in Dubai. It's so, so beautiful. Um, the service is great, lovely breakfast, and luckily the weather is perfect for us today. So I'm gonna get some tan time in. Hello everyone. I've just come away from the main beach club so that I can do a bit of vlogging where, oh, ow, I just stepped on a shell. <laughs> I just stepped on a shell. Oh my god, why did that hurt so bad? Anyway, I'm good, I'm good. Um, I've just come away from the beach club where they're playing music so I can do a little vlog for you guys. Keeping my shades on, because honestly these Lashify lashes are on their last legs now. Don't even want to show you. But I put them on before Edie got here and uh, they've lasted quite well, because that's like two weeks, so I'm really pleased with them. For a home kit, I really recommend it. It's really good, you'll have to check them out. It's called Lashify. But anyway, having a lovely day, it really is amazing. So we had breakfast in the kind of cafe bit and I always get the same thing. Jen said her breakfast was nice as well. We were just having a good old catch up. It kind of, it's funny though, because she used to live in Dubai. So she moved out of Dubai two years ago and moved back to London. But it's really funny because it just feels like she's never left. And I was saying to her, how is it like to be back? And she was like, yeah, it just feels, it's, she was like saying how it doesn't really feel like a holiday because she knows it so well and she knows everything. But yeah, I think she's kind of getting that feeling of like missing it. And I was joking to her like, we could be doing this every Wednesday. This could be us. But, um, but yeah, no, obviously it's always fun to visit Dubai on holiday, whether you've lived here or not. But I think because she's got so many friends here, I think she's feeling that, that kind of, yeah, feeling that missing Dubai vibe but she loves London as well and we've just had a lovely day we've been on the Sun Lounger and it's honestly been perfect weather today it's been actually the weirdest well it's April now but the March was just so weird for Dubai because they were doing loads of cloud seeding which I think I've mentioned on this channel loads of times but it's where they basically make it rain and Jenny was saying that they're basically Dubai, using Dubai as a bit of like a tester for this cloud seeding and that's why they're doing so much of it. I don't know if there's any truth in that, just full disclosure there. But um, we were saying like they shouldn't be doing that at peak tourist time in Dubai because it feels like it's going to turn people off. Um, like going out and being at beach clubs and whatever it is because people come to Dubai for the beautiful weather and it's been a bit cloudy and rainy in a lot of the vlogs you probably noticed which is just weird um but yeah today however has been absolutely gorgeous and we've both been just lying on our sun loungers i fell asleep obviously which is <laughs> such a dream um i did actually bring my laptop as well because i did a little bit of work um and what else do i have to do today yeah i do have i'm just actually going to get on a really quick call with one of my clients when i get in so i think i'm going to go at about 4 30 pm but that's perfect because i've still had around a good five hours of just sunshine and enjoying the vibe and then i also have therapy at 5 30 and for anyone that doesn't know i use better help which is like an online therapy platform and it's just so good i just love it what i was really thinking is that like I'm just so appreciative of doing therapy and I really feel like the best thing you can do is 
learning more about yourself and growing and and all that stuff and yeah that was just another thought of the day to leave you with is that every time I feel like I've not not settled into it but it's, it's not like you're like learning more about yourself and trying to tick things off and digging through your past but once you've it, it, what I was trying to say is it almost feels like every time I feel like surely there's no more to talk about or no more to learn then life will be like nope nope listen I've got more for you and then it's just even more growth and I guess that just never ends so yeah I always have I just really value our sessions that I have so feeling grateful to have that in my life and I'm having what am I having for dinner I, don't, I feel like, do you even care what I'm having for dinner? I'm not having one of the Buddha bowls that I showed you last night. Oh yeah, I'm having a ve vegetable and mushroom pie. I made one of these for Edie and the girls on a, as a Sunday roast. But I had loads of leftover pastry and I'm trying. What I'm doing, cleverly I might add, is clearing out the fridge. In fact, I'm going to turn back around now. Look at that view. Just gorgeous just gorgeous postcard moment um what i'm doing is clearing out the fridge before i go to sri lanka and just trying to make sure that i kind of use everything um because we're actually going for nine days can you believe it nine nights <laughs> which at first we were going to go for like five nights but as it turns out we're going for nine now just because of how the flights have worked not complaining at all super excited but yeah, I'm trying to use up everything that I've got in. And I'm also thinking, what do I need to take with me? Like, I think Sri Lankan food traditionally is very vegetarian slash vegan, but I don't know for sure. So I'm thinking, do I need to take anything with me? I might take a protein powder, which I know sounds very like high maintenance, but you know what, since I'm the one maintaining it, I'm happy to do it. And I love the protein powder that I've been having on that you get from Kibsons. It's a brand called Wazoogles. And I thought I could just bring that in my bat in my suitcase with a protein shaker, just so that I can, you know, at the hotel breakfast, just in case if there's only fruit for me, I'll still be able to get some protein. Anyway, this is how my brain works. This is my level of like planning, is that I'm thinking about these things. I don't know if this is anyone else but that's how my mind works this is what i've been thinking i'm like do i need to pack something like this probably yeah but other than that i'm feeling really good about our itinerary and everything we've kind of been messaging the hotel that we're staying at and saying like oh we'd really be interested in doing surfing or seeing turtles whatever and they were like yeah we'll sort it when you get here and we're like oh okay like <laughs> fine if you say so yeah they're kind of on that island life vibe everything is very chill I kind of feel like I'm on that island life vibe at the moment as well. So not mad about it. I feel like I've literally been living at the beach the past few weeks and I'm not mad about it. This bikini that I've got on is a little really basic one that I got on ASOS. Um, but I feel like a, a good black bikini is all you need. In fact, it's only the top that's new. I've had the bottoms for ages, but the top, I put it on last week and realized that it didn't really fit me anymore. And I'm starting to notice that with quite a lot of my clothes, since I've lost a bit of weight, is that things don't really fit me anymore. So I'm like, okay, fine, I'll do more shopping. But yeah, so I, I got this new on ASOS. I think it's Weekday, the brand. And they actually do it in purple as well. I was thinking, if you find a bikini top that fits you well, maybe it's a good idea to just buy it in another color if you like it, because I feel like I'm so picky about my swimwear. Right, anyway, I've just been having a lovely little walk, dating you all, but I've left Jenny, so I'm gonna go back to her now. I'm thinking we might get some Insta pics. I'm gonna ask her to do some pics for me for Insta. And then I'm probably gonna order a taxi and head home. But what a Wednesday, love life. <laughs> Well, I'm sorry to say, 
in fact I'm not sorry at all. It's one of those mornings, cold times. Look at the beautiful Joe in the Juice bag actually, it's so nice. I think I spotted that when I got a Joe in the Juice with Edie two weeks ago. Anyway, hi everyone. It is, what day even is it? It's Friday and last night was so fun with the girls. I'm sorry I didn't vlog really because I was just honestly just having fun. So we went to Canary Club. It's in JLT sat on the rooftop for ladies night and honestly it was just really good to be with the girls it was jenny's last night before she goes back to london today um it's a great deal it's a great menu um it was all just so fun i feel like i, I really had fun couldn't say no to having an espresso martini at the end of the night which is a bit of a treat but life is about balance right and, and i feel like i've worked very hard on my health and weight loss journey and it just felt good to have fun with the girls and treat myself a little bit in that way. I know I'm always treating myself in lots of ways, but I mean in the in the way of just allowing myself to have a cocktail, have a glass of wine, like that's okay too, life is about balance. Um, and in the spirit of balance, I've also decided that I can have a my favorite Joe and the Deuce order um, as I've got a really clear day today, which is so nice. You know, I looked at my calendar and there's literally nothing in it. In fact, I, no, there's one thing in it. I've booked a nail appointment because I really want to get my nails done before I go to Sri Lanka tomorrow. But yeah, it just was such a nice feeling to see a clear calendar. That means I'm going to spend the morning enjoying my Joe and the Juice. I'm watching Desperate Housewives and I'm going to start to think about finalising the packing. I basically am packed but I just need to pack my like hand luggage and I'm wondering do I need to take my laptop because I don't think I've travelled without my laptop in years. No, in fact I know I haven't. I always take my laptop. But I'm like, okay, no, I've told my clients that I can be off. This is almost like the first real time off that I'm going to have in a long time. And everything's done in a ahead of time. And I'm just thinking, okay, can I go on holiday and not need it? Or, I don't know. I don't know. Do I just need to bring it anyway in case I want to, like, edit a vlog or do anything? So, I don't know. I'm going to think about that. And I'm also going to think about what I'm taking with me in terms of, like food not that i'm taking a lot of food but like i've bought some new protein powder um and that i just want to get some like snacks for the flight as well because it is a four and a half hour flight and i'm 90 percent sure there's going to be no vegan options on the flight um thinking do i need to get something so yeah jenny actually just messaged us this morning she's flying back to london today and she was like the airport is so busy and yeah i have a feeling that because it's eid break the airports in Dubai are going to be heaving today, tomorrow, <clears throat> and all of the weekend. I think they're going to be kind of crazy. And we're actually flying out of Sharjah Airport, which I've never been to before, but I'm sure that will be. But it is an international airport, by the way, guys, um, which is, yeah, interesting. People only, I think, look at flying in and out of um, Abu Dhabi and Dubai, but actually Sharjah has a lot of routes as well. So yeah, what time do we need to get to the airport tomorrow? Probably like five. So yeah, it's going to be an early start tomorrow. So yeah, now I'm feeling like, God, I, I, on the one hand, I'm like, I wish I got a little bit more sleep last night. But on the other hand, I don't mind because it was so much fun with my girls and just a fun girly night. And yeah, um, yeah, I feel like we, li we're literally saying we're all going on like trips obviously jenny's gone back to england but kirstie's going to tokyo today which is crazy me and jenna going to sri lanka mia's going to thailand like everyone's off on their holidays for eid and it's just yeah i'm already excited to reunite with them all so, so that we can have a catch up about our trips and everything yeah anyway let me get back to my lazy relaxing morning and dig into my joe and the juice <laughs> 